Hi everybody, my name is Mike. I'm from uh, Folsom, California. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. I'm a, a teacher right now. I'm ready to retire, but um, I also spent a long time in the military. I was in for 12 years. Uh, along with that uh, uh, short, uh, short stint, a couple of years stint, with the uh, SR-71 and U-2 spy planes. What I wanted to share with you guys tonight was um, a haunted item that I have. Uh, when I got out of the military the first time, I was 21 years old. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, his father fought in World War II, and he had a helmet that uh, freaked out his father and him, and he said that the uh, uh, item was haunted. Well, I never had any problem with it. Uh, a couple of years ago, some weird things were starting to happen in the house. I had a, uh, um, a cheesy ghost hunting app on my camera, and I went and used the uh, K2 meter on it, and the K2 meter lit up on the helmet. Let me kind of show it to you. Uh, this is not a regular Vermont helmet. It's kind of ripped up on the inside. This uh, actually, the symbol here, is uh, police and since it's gold there was an officer that wore this so and this also uh, well, uh, we found out was uh, made about 1939 or 1937 1939 is when I, I, I think it was might have been 37 um, uh, I, I like I said I just I had some weird things happen in the house and I contacted a local group in Sacramento called uh, Sac Spirit. They came out and uh, on, a, on a Friday night, and they verified that it was haunted. Uh, they got uh, uh, these the uh, the other uh, meter, the tri trifield meter on it, and uh, it went ahead and it lit up, and it was showing that it had electrical current, and there was no. Nothing in there. He was checking for a battery and everything else. We also caught three orbs coming out of it on one of the videos. Um, they were trying to uh, uh, pass the spirit on and everything, and uh, weird things started to happen after the, the visit from Sac Spirit. Um, I saw, I was looking in the back of me, I thought it was my son. My son's tall, he's six foot one. I looked in the back of me, and I actually saw a black shadow figure. Told my wife about it. She's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very skeptical. Um, three days later, uh, she goes, I saw your shadow figure like it was mine or something. And uh, she saw it. And that definitely made her a believer that there was something in the house. Um, twice then after that, um, my son said, Dad, what did you want? I said, I didn't call you. Uh, I said, I just heard your voice. I said, no, no, that wasn't me. He said, I heard your voice. You called me. Uh, then a few days later, uh, he was with his friend James, and uh, James and Richard heard somebody call to Richard, and it was in James's voice, which we thought was odd. Uh, shortly after that, probably about three weeks after that, we went out to uh, eat, and my son called me, and he said, Dad, I got to tell you about what happened. Uh, he was He came home from work early, and it was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And he turned around and looked out his door, and something came and rushed at him, and then disappeared right when I got in front of him. So I just wanted to share. I've had some other weird things happen since then, but uh, that's a whole nother tape. But I hope uh, hope you guys enjoy, at least enjoy part of that, and and thank you for support. <laughs> but I do because my house. I was having a large fight with everybody about what I'm doing, but I think something finally caught them now. But. Uh, Thank you very much, guys.